what can i say about this question it's not difficult but tricky and quite interesting let's go ahead and take a look in the diagram triangle abc is drawn ad is drawn such that ad is perpendicular to bc right and then the first question 7.1.1 let's see what we have so let me just there we go what does it say use the diagram above to determine ad in terms of sine of angle b so we want ad in terms of sine of angle b so let's take a look and see how that will look like sine of theta is equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse in our case we are interested in sine of angle b the opposite is ad so we have a d divided by the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is a b so we have a b if we make a d if we want to make a d the same as the formula we can cross multiply we're going to have a b sine of angle b being equals to a d so there we go we have a d in terms of sine of angle b let's go ahead and do 7.1.2 let's just verify that what we are doing 7.1.1 is correct we have sine of b being equals to the opposite the opposite is a d and the hypotenuse is a b if we want to find a d we just cross multiply that seems to be fine 7.1.2 hence prove that the area of triangle a b c is equal to a half b c a b sine of angle b we know that the area of a triangle if we're given the height is just half base multiplied by the height so in our triangle a b c the height is a d and it's highlighted in red already in red already and then the base is bc this is the base of our triangle so if we were to substitute here we would have the half base is bc and the height is ad so we have ad right here but we know that ad is ab sine of angle b so instead of writing ad let's substitute a b sine of angle b and just like that we have proved that the area of the triangle is a half b c not b here but b c let me just erase that so it's a half b c multiplied by the height which is a b sine of angle b a b not a c i'm being very sloppy just making silly mistakes so there we go that is 7.1.2 let's take a look at 7.2 7.2 quite an interesting one in the diagram points b c and d lie on the same horizontal plane a angle adb is equal to angle acb so this angle adb um where's the angle this one right here is equal to this one they are all equal to alpha and then angle c db is theta we have it right here and then let's just put an x there to indicate that we have an angle that we're interested in that's where we have angle theta and then the side dc is equal to k and bd is equal to bc so this side is equal to this one what does the first question say 7.2.1 let's prove that ad is equal to ac this is what we are required to prove let's see how we can do that ad is a side in triangle adb so okay let's take a look at that triangle in triangle a d b all right we are stuck in triangle a d b now a a d a d is the hypotenuse right so we can say that um what connects the hypotenuse and the the adjacent is it cos or is it sine cos is adjacent of hypotenuse so right let's say 
cos of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse right we know that to be true so in this case in that triangle we're gonna have cos of alpha being equals to the adjacent which is db divided by the hypotenuse which is ad if we rearrange it we end up with ad being equals to db divided by cos of alpha so that is in triangle adb let's take a look at triangle a b c we're gonna run with the same idea we're gonna have cos of alpha being equals to the adjacent which is b c divided by the hypotenuse which is a c making the hypotenuse the subject of the formula we get b c over cos of alpha but we are told that d b or b d is equals to b c it is here in the question statement take a look at this it's right here so if db is equal to bc then ac is equal to ad that should be easy to see so we have proved that right that is 7.1.1 what about 7.2.2 7.2.2 2 prove that bd is equal to k divided by 2 sine of theta so let's just remove these 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 and focus on our triangle d b c so if we had an angle of 90 degrees then we would think trig ratios sine cos and tan but we don't have that if you don't have that then you move to sine if sine doesn't work then you move to cos and then if cos doesn't work you move to the area rule so those are the steps you need to take right so we are interested in our we're interested to show that bd is equal to k divided by 2 sine of theta so we have k here right so we must include that k some way somehow and then what else do we have obviously if db is equal to bc then this angle here should also be equal to theta this angle here is also theta right so if that angle is theta then this angle here b is gonna be 180 minus 2 theta okay so let's use the sine rule if we use the sine rule we're gonna have sine of 180 minus 2 theta divided by the opposite side which is k this is equals to uh well it doesn't matter which other angle we use here because the angles are equals to each other and the sides are also equals to each other uh, but we have bd here in our um in what we are required to prove so let's use the angle of which the opposite side is going to be bc so we are using this theta which is at angle c then so sine of theta divided by the opposite side which is b d we just need to make b d the subject of the formula okay we cross multiply we get b d multiplied by sine of 180 minus 2 theta is just sine of 2 theta because sine positive second quadrant and this is equals to k sine of theta let's go ahead and make b d the subject of the formula we're gonna have b d being equals to k sine of theta divided by sine of 2 theta but sine of 2 theta there's something special there with sine of 2 theta so k sine of theta divided by 2 sine of theta cos of theta uh, that is uh, what do you call it do you call it double angle do you call it compound angle can't really remember but I know that sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine of theta multiplied by cos of theta. So from this step, clearly we can cancel out sine of theta and sine of theta. So BD is equal to K divided by 2 cos of theta. And there we go. We have proved that which we were required to prove. 7.2.2 let's take a look at 7.2.3 so 7.2.3 determine the area 
of triangle B, C, D in terms of K and a single trigonometric ratio of theta. Okay, so let's take a look at triangle B, C, D. Oh, triangle B, C, D is the triangle we've been paying our attention to. We're not so sure if um, the angle B is 90 degrees, so we cannot use base multiply by height. Rather, we can use uh, the area rule, right? It says a half side 1 multiplied by side 2 multiplied by sine of the angle of which the two triangles, not the two triangles, but the two sides sandwich. That is going to give us the area of the triangle. So we have K, right? So we must include K somewhere somehow. And then we need theta. So which theta do we include? It doesn't really matter because uh, BD is equal to BC and we have set the angle theta on both sides. So let's go ahead and, and run with that. So we're going to ha have a half. Uh, side 1, let's take K. So K multiplied by side 2. Either BC or BD. But we have BD from 7.2.2. So let's use BD. And then this is going to be sine of theta because sine of theta is the angle that the two sides sandwich because you are taking this side and this one they sandwich that angle which is theta so let's go ahead and take a look we're gonna have a half multiplied by k bd is k divided by 2 cos of theta multiplied by sine of theta so let's take a look uh what happens here K and K, it doesn't cancel out. That becomes K squared. So let's take a look. We're going to have K squared divided by 2 multiplied by 2. That is 4. 4 cos of theta. On the numerator, we have sine of theta. So what is sine of theta divided by cos of theta? Is that tan of theta? Do we have K squared over 4? tan of theta is this what we're supposed to have let me know in the comments